When you're calculating correlation in Excel, two very common mistakes you'll make are n forward slash a and div forward slash zero. Don't worry, these are actually really simple to fix. So I'm gonna start with the first one, which is n forward slash a. If we click on the little warning sign, it says value not available error. Well, that's actually quite easy to fix. If we look at the top here, AYR has some missing data. So all we've got to do is select the cells, right click, delete, shift cells up. And now that works fine because when we click here, we'll see that it's just two complete sets of data. DIV zero is also quite easy, but we're gonna be doing one or two things here to make it really work. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is the data we've got is very messy. Um, we've asked for data to be given in, in minutes and seconds, but you can see that people have been giving it in different formats. We've got somebody using text here, which is um, you know, zero. Um, we've got somebody using um, seconds and split seconds. You've got minutes and seconds. Uh, again, minutes, split seconds, that's all seconds. It's really, really messy. So first thing we've got to do is go and tidy the data up, and then secondly, get it all in the right format, because when you click on the error sign here, you said divide by zero, divide by zero error. It's just not working. So let's just go through and put everything into pure seconds. I'm going to take a jump cut in the video, so I'll see you in a second when this is complete. Okay, so we're back now, and you'll see that just by sorting out all of the numbers into the same format, the correlation is now working exactly how it should.